Boy, oh boy. Let's let's go into I mean TikTok. Uh, hey, people want to know why I say this dude is a suck. You witnessed it for your, your yourself, right? Let's get back. Let's get to the story though. All right. Music industry moves. Paul, good looking. I appreciate the support, man. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much for the cash out, brother. You just turned my frown upside down. CJ, they still support when you're hating, nigga. Excuse me. Rock Nation, the powerhouse management label publishing firm co-founded by Jay-Z. Remember, y'all, co-founded. You hear that? Which means he don't own Rock Nation by itself, by himself. He's not the sole owner of Rock Nation. For all you nut huggers, here's some planets for you to eat. Co-founder, okay? Not founder of Rock Nation, which would make him the owner. Co-founder, okay? You just learned something else today. You didn't know that either, right? You you always thought it was his, right? Yeah, I bet you did, nut huggers. Uh. All right, Rock Nation, the powerhouse management label publishing firm co-founded by Jay-Z has announced that it will merge its Rock Nation label and equity distribution divisions to form Rock Nation Distribution, a platform and destination for artists led by the artist's needs, interests, and focus, according to the announcement. Now, Listen to this. Led by the artist's needs, interests, and focus, according to the announcement. Now, look. Led by the president, Christian Santani, right? The distribution wing was founded in 2019, which was the year before the pandemic. Essentially, as an artist, services divisions for artists who retain ownership of their masters and include such functions as marketing, publishing, administration, and data analytics. As part of the move, Shari Bryant, co-president of Rock Nation's record label, has stepped down from her post. We know when they say you step down what that means, right? That means that, you know, you was good. They had to let you go. They won't make it look like they fired you, so you get to say you stepped down but they'll still give you a little severance package. I bet you Jay-Z ain't even sit her down and talk to her before they let her go. Now check it. That's it. That's the end of their press release, y'all. That's it, right? Now, this is when we start getting into... The uh, the business side of it, right? Now, I need all you young kids out here that want to be in the music industry or you parents out here that's watching who kids want to be in the industry. I need y'all to watch rock nation right because i'm going to show you something right here that's very dangerous for a fan all right let me blow this up so y'all can see this this is how i told y'all jay-z is burnt out this is why he ain't got no music out because he ain't got nobody to steal from right so look at what rock nation is doing now since now they want to become uh Distro kid, right? Now, let me show y'all something. What Rock Nation is trying to do now is 
fire ev probably everybody that was helping them with the record label, this, that, and other. And now they're going to try to convince you kids, right, to send your goddamn unsolicited music to them so you don't know what you're doing and you're going to find your, hearing one of your songs on the goddamn radio and Jay-Z ass will be spitting it, right? Now, let me show you. This is several things here, right? What Jay-Z and them is trying to do is imitate what you're seeing right here, which is called Distro Kid. This is just one of um, independent distribution, distribution companies that can get your music on places like, as you can see here, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Tidal, TikTok, YouTube, and more. You don't have to, you see this? Unlimited uploads keep 100% of your earnings and more, right? You don't need to go to Rock Nation and just send them your music. You see here? You don't just send them the, your music. You create your own distribution label right here on DistroKid, right? You don't need Rock Nation to do this. All they're doing is imitating their model and they're going to tell you, oh, we're going to have a, a, a database where you can see your, your music and you can see your sales. You don't need them. You can go straight through DistroKid and do this yourself because they are more advanced, they have more knowledge, they have better staff, they have better people. Now I'm gonna teach you something. Now let's go to uh, Jay-Z's uh, website, right? And as you, and another thing, you see how Dane got his own platform, digital platform? And been trying to do the, do this thing independently. So all Jay Z doing is fucking Johnny come lately. Now want to do what Dame has been doing with his America New thing. Now they gonna fire everybody and try to copy that those these models and and just do it from what they copy in. Right now, look. First things first, right. This is their, their, their stuff. Rock Nation Distribution is a music platform that supports independent artists and labels by distributing, 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 excuse me, distributing their music worldwide while empowering them to maintain ownership of their masses and build their brand. That's distro kid. Don't get fooled by the word masters. They put in the word masters in it like you fucking gonna have a real when we don't even use rails no more. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, if you go through Distro Kid and other spots like that, I can't think of the other one right now. Let me see, it's Distro Kid, it's the other one. Um, hold on. TuneCore. You got DistroKid, you got TuneCore, you got CD Baby. These are all the same things, but these are well-established platforms that kind of iron out their kinks. And then now, once again, let's go back to uh, Jay-Z's Rock Nation's distribution, right? Look, look how cheap this website is, right? Look how cheap this is. Now, first things first, right? You click on here, and it says, want to join Rock Nation Distribution? Fill out a form, and our team will be in touch with the next steps on how to distribute your music, right? So right off the top, you're going to give them your name, your address, I mean, your name, your email, what's your role, right? Select an option. 
you the artist, the label, the manager. Soon as you pick artists, they already you get they know that this is a person that's going to get wrong. If you the label, the manager, the last person they're going to be returning calls is managers, right? Then they tell you right here, put your artist label name, right? Now, if you're dumb or inexperienced, I will say, you will go up there and put your artist name, right? Now, you might go and put a name and give, go put a name that they might be interested in. They might steal your name, your idea, your concept, anything, right? Then they tell you to tell you about yourself, right? What distribution company is asking you all this information without even hearing anything from you, right? And then they going they want to see your Instagram so they can prejudge you, right? They're going to prejudge you, look at your numbers to see if you pop and you got if you got Instagram and you got three three followers, they ain't fucking with you. If you got Instagram and you got a million followers, they're gonna they gonna come to you faster, right? Same thing with the YouTube channel, right? So then they ask you, you were here, send unreleased music, add a link so we can hear what's next. Why would you send them unreleased music? What now? You're going to have a bunch of inexperienced kids that's going to get on there, send music that's not copywritten, right? And all they did was just get rid of their staff and going and, and go and just go through kind of like the old school days. Nigga, submit your demo. And he's going to have somebody going through the demos, going through the emails, and they're going to be looking at your, your, your Instagram and your YouTube numbers before they even listen to your music. They're gonna judge you on how much popularity you got already. Then they're gonna tell you, oh, you hide this, that number. And they just looking, what they doing is, they getting rid of the staff that's supposed to bring in the music. And they just gonna create a website and tell everybody send their music and, and they bio. And then they're gonna pick and sift through it and then they gonna tell you, oh man, yeah, yo, you great, man. We got some, yeah, yeah, yeah. And sign this, right? Now, let me show you something else. The terms of use, you see that right there at the bottom on the left? You know how many kids are not gonna read that? They're going to fill all this out, and they're going to send these people their music. Now, the term of use on this bullshit-ass website they got right here, right? You don't even know. It say You might say, as soon as you click send, they own your music. They own your name. Or you sign, immediately sign the Rock Nation distribution. These kids ain't going to know, right? But let me show you how janky this is. Look, you hit the terms of use, right? And you're going to have all this right here. Look at all this. How many kids you think going to read all this? You think you need to... to uh, Read all this before you submit anything to these people. Why would you have to? Why do? Why is this so extensive for somebody to just go and join their website to submit their music? Right? Because they're gonna rob you. Right? Let, let's read some of this. Right? Please read these terms of use carefully before using this site. Equity Distribution, LLC, Equity Distribution, we, us, provide this website and all site-related services, 
collectively the site subject to your compliance within the terms and conditions set forth in this agreement. The agreement. This agreement governs the relationship between equity distribution and you, the site visitor and or member, you, your, with respect to use, your use of the site. It is important that you read carefully and understand the term and conditions of this agreement. By using or attempting to use this site, you certify that you are at least 13 years of age, or if under the age of 13, you have the consent of your parent or guardian over the age of 18 to use this site. So look at this, a 13 year old kid can get on here and upload their music. And as soon as they upload their goddamn music, they ass is cooked. 13 years old. Is that even illegal, y'all? Is that even legal? Let me, let me, yeah, I can see it. It jumped to another screen. Hold on. Hold on. 